it's too much. It's a little too much. <laughs> this is my street. It's very sad, isn't it? life you know when my grandfather built this house he built it for generations to come but who would have thought that the war was going to come he went and he bought plots in the cemetery for the entire family a mausoleum it's still there and it's empty I haven't been there this Queen Esther series, what I realize now is that it was my search for roots. I wasn't aware of it before, perhaps it was in my subconscious, that by choosing a biblical story from the Old Testament, in a way for me it was like going back to my Jewish roots, and by using the Byzantine technique and the Byzantine manner of working, it was my other roots the Romanian roots, the Orthodox roots. Last night. Your concept is fantastic in your mosaic. 
from far. It's uh, what we see, it's uh, the color, the subject, and we love it. Why do you want to return to Byzantium? I am curious. I am going back to, to Bucharest to relive my roots. This is where my love for Byzantine art started when I was a child. In school, we did some art, but mostly in the classroom, uh, we drew apples and cups and saucers. Uh, the, the, the school was bare and didn't have any color. Art consisted of drawing. Very few people had colors. I don't remember anyone in my class that used crayons of any sort except me. I remember using them over and over again and reading these words over and over again, loving them forever, and this is why I've kept them all these years. Isn't this room beautiful? This is my favorite place in the whole house. Just look at the glass. Look at the colors that are available in glass. These colors never existed before. Now, they come in hundreds of different hues. I love this place. This is my sanctuary. I consider Lillian Broca's work uh, very much a renewal of Byzantium, partly on the basis of the uh, the meaning of the panels, the uh, the fact that this is this is not just a, a superficial image or narrative; it has additional meaning. She is using contemporary materials, which go beyond what can be done in paint, but by doing it in mosaic, the reflection of light is made so much more profound. To complete this series on Esther, I had to eat, sleep and breathe Queen Esther. She became a daily part of my life. In my mind, she was with me at all times. I used to dream about her. Many people tell me that my mother looks very much like the Esthers of my series. And I suppose that subconsciously I used her features. She was very beautiful, very young, and she met my dad uh, during the winter of 1944. And they were both Jewish. They were happy because they were the lucky survivors of that awful period. My mother was very gifted in art, and she never had a chance to develop her talents because of this war interfering with life in so many other people's lives. Every series that I have completed in the past uh, dealt with women's issues and, and the human condition. As a role leader, Queen Esther is showing women today that any woman today, under any condition, even in a patriarchal society, can and will find inner resources to become her own person. And this is the message that I want to come across. Do I identify with her? I wonder if I did.